Hello people that in the house, I don't know, hope it's all doing well. So, you probably heard Phil Hogan today, and the bollocks himself, I might as well say straight he's a bollocks. Um, I don't accept that, I don't accept, you know, that thousands of people had to come into this country, and some I've said, you know, some people did isolate, um, at least they, you know, you know, done what they were supposed to do. Um, Phil Hogan said, I don't accept that, I don't accept that, I tested negative in the COVID test, I went to heal that, I can go where if I what he says. Um, I, I don't listen to any laws in this country. I might have been on my phone. I could have got a fine for it. But at the end of the day, they got a commissioner got me off with it. And the Department of Justice. And, you know, they were all good boys. They all went, you know, they all went and done whatever they were supposed to do when I said to Like, you know, the disrespect. Like, you know, I, I, if I was the teacher at the moment, I would have to just get the fuck out of Ireland. He's, he's in Brussels now. He's run away. He's ran away. Um, I would just say never fucking come back and the simple as that just stay in Brussels stay over there with your big salary and never come back to this country uh, we don't watch you here if that was in any country I'm sure in the UK they would tell them just go away and never come back simple as go away and never come back if you have such disrespect because the disrespect he's shown um, he took a long time to apologise he wouldn't apologise he blamed everybody else but himself and um, then he finally apologised which was a half assed apologies um, and again you know, at least the Minister of Agriculture and everything, Darrell clearly, clearly, and the rest of them took, you know, took hits. You know, he was signed, and he was signed as, you know, Deputy Leader of Fianna Fáil. At least he took hits, but he's still going to get his big salary. But at least he owned up and said, you know, I made a mistake. I made a, you know, made a misjudgment. At least he said it. But this fellow is just talking shite, and he's just trying to justify things that I read this and that and the other here. Um, and I tell you about one case, and I was talking to this actually woman today, and she came back from the Kingdom of Norway. Um, and you know she done the right thing. She contacted you know first of all the embassy, the Irish embassy in Oslo, um, and told the Irish embassy in Oslo that she'd be coming back and isolating in Ireland, um. So oh well, and then she contacted the Dublin, you know, uh, you know the, the Department of Foreign Affairs in Dublin, which then, and then she contacted Cav and County Celt, and then I was told, and um, so she told everybody, and she isolated in her house for you know fourteen days what was required. She didn't have COVID or anything that, but she done what she you know required, what the state required of her. Um, and you know, no argument or anything that she knew when she was coming home that you know she had to do it. And you know, I give her, I give her, you know, because she didn't, you know, she didn't just randomly turn up and say, oh, I'm going to go around halfway around the country, and I don't, I, I, I don't accept that. I don't accept that. I literally, I never heard such a smart bollocks in my life, Phil Hogan. Um, and he wrote, and the reason you know, the president of the European Commission, you think the fuck, I think he's misleaded though, and more or less saying, oh, I could go wherever the fuck I want, even if you test negative. Um, on the COVID test, you still have to isolate. So you still have to isolate. That's something I know uh, know of definitely, and you know, and it has been looked into, it. and it is you know definitely because I looked into it. Um, it is, you know, you still have, if you come from any part of the country, you're supposed to you know any part of the world you have to isolate, and um, from any high risk countries, um. And him going playing golf and Lim and when Limerick and everything going around into Limerick and everything that going around the fucking country, um. And then not even about, like you know he's the biggest bollocks and I say this straight and I, me whole my me whole mouth needs to go in the radio and just say straight to the Irish people because everybody in Ireland call him a bollocks and that's as simple as that we might as well vote him as a bollocks, um like this go this government has no balls if I had a like the only fellow heard, you know really giving him a hard time in the government is uh, Martin McGuire and uh, the independent TD for K Tipperary uh, but Martin McGuire would give a fuck about anything anyway but at least he has the guts. To say he's a bollocks. At least he more or less. That's more or less what he's saying. He has the guts. The rest of them, the government are afraid shitless of him. And just afraid of the European Union altogether. Um, and then we have the other clown in the hours sitting up in the hours. He won't say fuck our leader. You'd think he would say something. When he's people. You know when he's been. This, like this gobshite. This gobshite. And simple as that. Like he's a gobshite. And I don't know why he. Who fucking put him in the European Union. Because um, obviously there are a pile of gobshites over there anyway. And they're all just what to make as much money out of Ireland as they can. Now they what to just like again we have to pay three thousand. Every Irish citizen has to pay three thousand to the European Recovery Fund compared to France where they only had to pay seven hundred each. And um, so me and you and everybody in Ireland has to pay three thousand extra because Ireland's being used. And it's then you know he thinks he owns the country. He thinks he can just run around the country and it doesn't apply to him and him on his phone. And I can't even tell you. I know three or four families off very half now. And I would like to him to just explain to me that you know they they will tell them himself. That you know they lost lovers because they were on their phones and they took other people's lives because they were on their phones um, and they weren't caught to shredding. And you know, and for him to go around and you'll know, get a slap in the wits and things like that, it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. You should face something for that at least. 
Um, in this country, they're going to probably just take up from me home out and they they like they don't understand like me me whole and the t shirt and everybody you know the me whole and Leo and everybody doesn't understand why the people are so angry about this, um again they're so out of touch with the people, they kind of like the 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 woven offs in Russia the the last sow. Uh, Sir Nicholas the second like them just want to you know consolidate their power and say you know we can do whatever we want and again it just goes to show you he won't accept that he'd done wrong he's just blaming everybody else he blames everybody else he's saying they won't have the proper information he, in other words you know this is a total fucking mess <laughs> that's just the best way to put it it's the biggest it's a bigger mess like he, he keeps digging his hole deeper like you know, me hole even digs a bigger hole. Me hole hasn't even got a bigger hole than me Bill Logan at the moment of time. Like you know, he's he he's digging a hole too big that he can't even fit his hole in. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just a bit, like he's digging. He's not helping himself. Everything he's saying is not helping himself. Um, I don't accept that. I don't accept that. I don't accept that. <laughs> like yo, know, get in the bin. Just get in the bin of Phil Hogan. We don't. I don't think Alan even wants to hear of you again. Because no matter if you're cronies and Darl Aaron or Shannon Aaron, they must adore you, lick up to you, and lick up to your backside. And nobody in this country, no citizen of Ireland, who went through hardships. I know, as I said, I know people who had funerals. And they could barely go into the church, they could barely go up to the grave. And I'm sure they're, they're fuming. They're the ones who are fuming. And they're the ones who should be going in the... Like, if he had any decency. If he had any decency, he at least... I never heard him in the interview saying, I apologise to the people who lost. But let me love ones. Because they're the people who are mostly... So angry about it. They're the people who are human because they never will get to uh, say a proper goodbye because of this. Because these fucks went to a Garfield society and think they can be above people, above the law, above everything. But then again, this country, politicians and everybody, and barristers and fucking judges and the media and everybody, they're above the law. Nobody can touch them. It's like it's a talk of state, a talk of state is finest. But anyway, for, just to say, Phil Hogan, if you are watching this, you're the biggest bollocks in this in this country at the moment. Time I tell me whole is the biggest bollocks, but my God, you're the biggest bollocks ever. At least me whole is trying to dig. At least he's trying to dig himself out. You're just putting yourself back into the fucking hole and saying, "Oh, I don't have to comply to any laws now because the European Union owns Ireland and we are going to sell the Irish people out again." Great, great, fantastic, Phil. You fucking stay over from Brussels and stay there for the rest of your life. Thank you.